Hi guys, welcome to Medical Mega Mind. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel for more medical videos. In this video, I am going to discuss the development of thyroid gland and anomalies of thyroid gland. Development of thyroid gland. Thyroid gland develops from two sources. One, thyroglossal duct, which forms the follicular cells of thyroid gland. Second. Ultimobranchial body, which is a component of caudal pharyngeal complex, forms the parafollicular cells of thyroid gland. In the floor of the primitive pharynx, over the first arch, in the midline, there is a swelling called tuberculum impar. Just behind the tuberculum impar, the epithelium of the primitive pharynx forms a depression called thyroglossal duct where its opening is called foramen cecum. As I said in the floor of the primitive pharynx, this is the depression or diverticulum formed by the epithelium. This is the foramen cecum which is the opening of the thyroglossal duct. This is the thyroglossal duct which grows caudally and tip of the thyroglossal duct bifurcates to form two lobes of thyroid gland. Remember, thyroglossal duct forms the follicles of thyroid gland. Development of the thyroid gland from the first source that is thyroglossal duct is over. Now development from the second source that is ultimobranchial body which is the component of caudal pharyngeal complex. This ultimobranchial body contributes to the thyroid gland formation by forming parafollicular cells. Anomalies of thyroid gland First one, pyramidal lobe There is no pyramidal lobe in normal thyroid gland but in some condition a pyramidal lobe develops from the isthmus region. The origin is from the straight part of thyroglossal duct above its bifurcation. Another anomaly is there is absence of either right lobe or left lobe or even isthmus of the thyroid gland. Another anomaly is ectopic thyroid tissue meaning thyroid tissue is present in various locations other than the usual location. The thyroid tissue may be present in ovaries, esophagus, pericardium, larynx or trachea. Now anomalies of the location along the thyroglossal duct. This is the course of the thyroglossal duct. Thyroid gland can form in any position along the course of the thyroglossal duct. If thyroid gland is formed just below the foramen cecum, this is called lingual thyroid. If thyroid gland is formed in the substance of the tongue, it is called intralingual thyroid. If thyroid tissue is formed above the hyoid bone, this is called suprahyoid thyroid. If thyroid tissue is found below the hyoid bone, this is called infrahyoid thyroid. This is the usual position of the thyroid gland. If thyroid tissue is present above the usual position of the thyroid gland, then it is called suprathyroid. If thyroid tissue is present below the usual position of thyroid gland, then it is called infrathyroid. 